Hi, Vishon Boric here, and today I want to talk about relationships and how they affect your dreams. So here's the thing. Have you ever shared your dream with somebody and immediately they shot it down or they told you all the reasons it wouldn't work or they said something along the lines of get your head out of the clouds, you need to focus on reality. You ever heard that before? Well, here's what I want to share with you. Number one, really be selective on who you share your dreams and goals with because not everyone has the type of vision or the mindset to help another person. You know, some people, they actually get offended when somebody wants out of a situation they're in. They feel like, you know, they should all stay the same. Everything needs to stay the same. They don't want to have change appear in their life. So what I suggest to you is that you're very selective as to who you share your dreams and goals with and make sure it's someone that helps build you up and encourages you or gives you positive feedback or constructive feedback that helps you see another way on how you can achieve those dreams and goals. Because without that, you probably will never achieve your goal because it's hard to achieve a really big dream or an idea especially if you don't have anyone that supports you. So here's the next part. What about your friends? How are you choosing your friends today? I want to give you some thoughts. The people you choose to be your friends, they should build you up and help you to feel better about you and your life. Or they should encourage you to be your best self and help you to see a better way. So start looking for people in your life or maybe new people if you don't have anyone like that in your life that is a positive role model, somebody that, that just is a cheerleader and is going to help you to succeed. And people come in all different ways. Sometimes you need someone that gives you, you know, uh, constructive criticism, you know, something that's going to help you see things in a different way. And you also need people that are really positive in your life as well. You know, that, that person that's always up, those are some great people to have in your life because they help you to, to see the positive even in the deepest, darkest part in your life. And we all need that. So think about the people that you associate with. And here's a good litmus test or, or benchmark if you must. When you are with this person, you know, be it you know, man or woman, when you're with them, how do you feel after you get done talking with them? Do you feel happier? Do you feel uplifted? Do you feel energized? If you do on almost every conversation with them, then you may have found a really good friend. But if after you get done talking with them, you feel really down and depressed and, and upset or just drained of your energy, then most likely that's a person you need to not spend as much time with. I'm not going to say defriend them uh, because everybody needs someone in their life and maybe you're that positive person for that, that individual. But you need to limit your time with those people so that they don't drain you. I call those people toxic because a lot of times, you know, they, they create such an environment that it's hard for you to thrive and you just feel worn out after you've, you've talked with them for a while. And this, in some cases, can even be family members. And this is kind of goes in, it's a good segue into my next topic, and that is, what do you do if the people that are in your own household, your own family, uh, under your rooftop, are the toxic ones in your life? You know, they're the ones that aren't supportive of your dreams or your visions or goals that you have for your life. If it's in your house and it's your family that's causing you to come down, you need to really have a conversation with them and you need to sit down with them and you need to say and be very upfront with them say, look, I am striving to improve myself and become a better person, become the best me that I can be. And I need your support right now. And if you can't provide me with positive support and positive uh, you know, constructive criticism that's positive and uplifting, then I'm going to have to limit my communication with you. And you may not be able to limit your time with them, especially if it's a spouse or somebody like that, but you can limit what you share with them so that they don't bring you down while you're going through this transformation. And you may have to do that. And you may have to limit 
the amount of time you spend with them. And I know that's hard and that's a hard decision, but in the end, here's what's going to happen. If you start surrounding yourself with positive people and you start having success and a little more success and a little more success and a little more success, soon you'll find that those people in your life that originally were bringing you down and saying, oh, that's a bad idea or something like that. Now they're going to say, oh yeah, I knew you could do it. It's funny how that happens. So, you know, once you start having that success, then you can share your dream with more people. And soon those people will become supportive. And if they aren't supportive, it doesn't matter because now you're experiencing success and you're growing and you're becoming the best you that you can possibly be. So I hope this helps you and I hope that you find the right people to help you in your life so that you can become the successful person that you deserve to become.